echoes in fallow brown, when the dream is real and the fish swimming by fancy. It is green and yellow mottles, the colour of a privet hedge, when it dreams of doing the mundane. The engine of a motorboat overhead becoming a lawnmower it is pushing. It can temporarily wake and the plastic bar its suckers have been holding is transformed into a TV remote. If the octopus dreams of a childhood bedroom, its skin can replicate the rose pattern of the wall's paper. It can reach an arm down to a deeper depth of the ocean, searching for what, who knows, but when it unfurls, the tip in the empty cold has turned the dark purple brown of a chicken's liver. This colour can spread up the veins to one or all of its hearts. The octopus can blend itself to the environment. It can turn the arctic white of a calcified dog shit to masquerade itself amongst the bottom of icebergs. When you dream of the octopus, you dream of it pressed to glass. It has no fixed shape. The octopus is boneless and can flatten its body to fit through a hole the size of its eye or a keyhole, one limb pulling the body and the other limbs behind. It could be suckered to the wall above your bedstead, camouflaged as stiff key blue by farrow and ball paints. This is also the color of its blood. The only way to know is to feel for the bumps. You are not insured for this. You could be dreaming of the mundane, and the octopus pours into your dream, a plume of yellow paint blooming underwater, its horizontal, dash-shaped eye puce. As you dream, you might wear the octopus like an aeroplane's oxygen mask. Occasionally, the octopus dreams of a lost lover and glows the orange of the two-bar fire in a room rented in Whitby. You need not fear it as much as you think, you do not understand the words that come from its beak-like jaw, but they do not sound unkind. The octopus arrives through Greek, through Latin, through a new folklore that precedes the concept of Japan and is still worshipped in some Shinto shrines. You are not sure if it's octopuses or octopi. Don't play cards with an octopus. Its brain neurons are dispersed through its body and each arm can act intelligently on its own. When the octopus dreams of you, you cannot get warm no matter how many blankets you heap upon yourself. When it thinks of you absently, as it glides along the seabed, it is you that feels the weight of the ocean above your head. Like you, the captive octopus is aware of its captivity. It will equally adapt and resist. A gingham-skinned octopus has been filmed from the inside, opening a jam jar lid. Its intelligence has evolved down an entirely different route to yours. There is no division between its body and its brain. When you both dream, at the same time, there is no division between it and you.